are you the Neozeum? Let's do the roops rib. So in our briefing room. So we dealt with the Maramaya army. Um, it's real good. It's brilliant. Um, gives us thanks for saving Relina. But unfortunately, uh, Earth's, the Earth supremacists in the Federation might still give us some trouble. Yeah, such as Asigus. And, um, but she'll do her best to, like, keep them off our trail. And as far as Maramaya goes, um, yeah, all the blame for all of it was put on uh, Deccan, but Maramaya will be, can, like, she'll be held captive for a while, but as Ladian's, like, as a guardian rather than as Ladian's prisoner. Um, and then we're gonna, they, we talk about Neo Zeon now. So what are we gonna do? Because that dude did declare war. And Lady Yoon says, well, Mr. Armour, out of everybody in Z-Blue and everybody in the world, you know Shah the best, so the decision is in your hands. Why not all of Z-Blue? Well, we know Quattro Vagina, but you know Shah. Yeah, yeah, Z-Blue know Quattro Vagina, but you know Shah, so what do you want to do? And we will go with Investigate as our non-canon route. He wants to know what Shah's up to. Yeah, um, Amaru says that something within him uh, still wants to believe in Shah, that there must be a deeper purpose behind him like committing his people to war. So we're gonna go investigate. And we're gonna go to space to do some snooping around. It's like, does Shah really want to rematch in space with Amaro? That bad? Amaro right and Shah reasonable. <laughs> the fire the yeah, he's like, Commander Bright. Those two told me that those two gay as hell. Too hard, they're done, and will Mithril prevent a sure thing? And Amra's like, Shah, I don't know what you're up to, dude. And aboard the Nehalagama is, is Marimaya. And Audrey goes to uh, talk to her, and um, she offers um, an apology for, like, dithering on uh, so long about what to do. And she says that as a member of the Zabi family, she could have, in theory, acted sooner and prevented the need for Maramaya to get dragged into being a political figurehead. But she promises Maramaya that going forward she'll do whatever it takes to prevent war between the surface and the colonies. Min Lady Minerva! Minerva Zabi! Buh! And here's be the Altarians, is uh, Mikage talking to Izuma, talking about Jin. And they are, um, they talk about, yeah, they, they need the rare Igura. They need the rare Igura because of the curse of Eve. Yeah. Eve no Noroi, the curse of Eve. And uh, the curse of Eve, uh, the deal with the curse of Eve is that every female on their planet, not just human women, but all females on their planet, insects, animals, plants, uh, systematically became infertile and then died. That's why they've been kidnapping women from Earth. Because all of theirs died. All of them. Everything. Like, there are only men on their planet now. Only, only male anything on their planet now. 
and they have to, you know, kidnap ladies and the implied everything else that goes along with that to preserve the species. And uh, they talk about, yeah, and the idea of the rare Igura uh, is, the, is a woman that won't become fertile, infertile and then die. And they mention, uh, yeah, and then uh, Mikage mentions Jin, and Izumo, uh, Jin is the last son of Altair. He is, he was the last child ever born on the planet, and he's currently a little bit missing. Just, just a little bit, just, just a little bit. <laughs> 